Getting started with Dynet's powerful assessment tools. Dynet's placement test is an important tool. It assesses student proficiency levels and places students into the appropriate courses. All Dynet students should take this test. To take the test, click on the Dynet icon and enter your login ID, which is the email address provided to you. Then enter your password. Turn off your cell phones and get ready to take the test. Put on your headset. Then choose the placement test from the course list. During the test, you need to listen carefully and concentrate. The first step in taking the test is to take the practice test. The practice test has seven or eight questions for you to practice with. Make sure you can hear each question well and adjust your headset if necessary. 10. My name is Pierre and I'm from Paris, France. Where is Pierre from? Each question will be repeated once if you need more time. Please click on the correct choice. My name is Pierre and I'm from Paris, France. Where is Pierre from? You can take the practice test a second time if you need more practice. You need to get most of the questions right in order to take the real test. Please make a choice. When you have completed the practice test and are ready to take the placement test, click on Part 1 to begin. The first part of the test usually takes from 10 to 30 minutes, depending on your level. Once you start the test, you cannot stop until it is finished. Just like the practice test, there are several different kinds of questions in the test. For the listening questions, listen carefully and choose the correct answer. Are they both writers? If you need to hear the question a second time, wait for the timer to time down and the question will be repeated. There is no penalty for listening a second time. Please click on the correct choice. Are they both writers? If the timer times down a second time, the test will move on to the next question. You will not be able to return to the question. Let's go on. Do not exit the test early. This will give you an invalid score. For example, be careful not to click on the close button by mistake. During the test, the test items increase in difficulty. The test will finish when it judges you have reached your placement level. So be careful. At the end of the test, you will see your score in a window like this. If you scored high enough, you will be asked to take part two of the test. If your score is below 1.2, your test is finished. If your score is 1.2 or above 1.2, part two of the test will unlock and you need to take it to complete the test. Part two of the test takes from two to 25 minutes, depending on how well you do. Some of the items are quite difficult, so don't begin the test until you are ready. If you need to take a short break, you may do so. When you have finished the placement test, your score will indicate where to begin your studies. Some courses are appropriate for young learners, while other courses are for young adults and adults. This chart indicates how each course matches up with international standards, such as the Common European Framework. When you are ready to begin your Dynad studies, you will see a list of courses. These courses are at the right level for students at your placement level. In the next video, we will learn more about the assessment process and Dynad's personalized learning paths. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your Dynad study!